Hey guys. All right, so we're going to talk about Virginia Creeper. Uh, Virginia Creeper is kind of like a poison ivy type plant. It has five leaves. Um, if you brush up against it, you can end up with a rash. People that are more sensitive to things like that, like me, you know, every time I get bit, you guys have seen it, I swell up in these huge hive, oak ants, fire ants, um, mosquitoes, noceums, they bite me, I swell up. Um, but the Virginia creeper is something that's new to me. Um, I had it once before, which a couple of months back earlier this year, I was mowing the lawn. I mowed some over and I itched right in this area here. And I ended up with this really huge bad rash between my boobies. That was not fun. Now, <laughs> um, the only way you can really get rid of it is if you go in see a doctor and they give you a steroid shot or you take steroids. Well, there's actually a home remedy I found. Um, it takes only a few days, but it is a big improvement. Um, now, Virginia Creeper is this. When you touch it, it does not show up right away. It shows up the next day. So by the time you realize you have it, you've probably touched it, spread it other parts of your body. Well, I brushed up against it on my forearm here. Did not know it. Um, I then go to the bathroom and, you know, normal people, you will sometimes, if you have your phone with you, you'll put your elbows on your knees, mess with your phone, do your business, and then go wash your hands and walk away. Well, that's how I got it on the top of my left knee. Left arm, left knee. Well, then later on, I go to bed, and when you sleep on your side, you know, sometimes your arms touch or they intertwine with each other as you're sleeping. It doesn't matter which side you're on. I then transferred it to my right arm. It's kind of light. You can't really see it, but you can see the bumps. Well, then in the middle of the night, you go potty. Again, put my uh, elbows on my knees, transferred it to my right knee. <laughs> I can't make this up. <laughs> well, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and show you what this plant looks like so you can have an idea. Um, it is something that's down here in Florida. Um, it's also very um, prominent up in the northern states. I looked online for home remedies. And I could not really find anything. Some people were like drink tart uh, cherry juice. Um, then somebody mentioned um, acne cleaners. Well, that actually works. So let me show you what's going on. I'm going to show you the plant first. Okay, just to show you, this is Virginia Creeper. Leaves of five. They grow wild. That's it all on top of there. On top of here. You do not want to touch this if you are sensitive. Oops. It will secrete an oil just like poison ivy. And I'll show you. Okay, I found some more tips and tricks on the Virginia Creeper. Um, here's what my arm looks like. It's a lot better than it looked like the other day. Now, one of the tricks I learned to help stop the itchiness is towel or Kleenex and press hard and rub all of those little uh, all these little bumps have an oil in them and they keep producing that oil so when they break open that's how you spread it well as you could tell on here 
I just popped a bunch of them and the oil is on here so you're not spreading it. Make sure you fold over so you don't get it on your other hands or any other parts of your body. And I will just do this a couple times, once in the morning, once in a day. And it also helps with the itchiness. When these pop and that oil gets absorbed by the, uh, by the towel you're using, it actually lessens it from itching so you don't spread it as much. And I'm gonna show you another trick. All right, another trick is acne fighting chemicals. Um, because this is an oil, you want to dry it up. Um, so what I did is um, I use Clinique. I'm not sponsored by them. Uh, this is what I use on my own face, but I have just like an oily face, this is an oil, so you want to dry it up. Anything that will dry up an oil can work. I've been using this for three days now. Today is day three. And this has gotten way less itchy. And it's not as red or as irritated. Unfortunately, with it being on my elbow, wherever I rest my elbow, it gets, you know, like if you're on the couch or something, it'll start itching. Another good thing to do is wash it. You could wash the area with... Um, warm water and some type of uh, maybe antibacterial soap or uh, Dawn. Dawn cuts grease. Obviously, that's what this is, is an oil. So do that. You can wash in between treating the infected area. I do this once in the morning and once right before I go to bed and give your skin a few minutes to absorb that in. Don't just automatically put it on and then run into bed because then it'll brush off with the covers. Let it dry. Um, it helps a lot. And these are kind of like the tips and tricks I have learned with doing for uh, dealing with Virginia Creeper. All right, now another thing you wanna know about this Virginia Creeper oil it transfers very easily. So it's one of those where if you get it on your clothes or your gloves, you can then, you know, sometimes when you're working out, you wipe your sweat. If it's on the top of your glove and you wipe, wipe your forehead, you'll end up with it on your forehead or itch your nose with your gloves on. It transfers very easily, this oil. So that's something else you want to be cautious of. Um, because you literally need to wash everything if you get this oil on it. And the Virginia Creeper will also grow in the same area as poison ivy. Now granted, we don't have any poison ivy on our property that we have found as of yet. Uh, obviously, we still have property we haven't even began to look and mow and, and try to expand on. But... It is also known to grow in and around the same area as poison ivy. So just some tips for you to keep your eye out for.